What's up Upright Armada? Today we're gonna to be talking about knee pain when you're doing the split squat with a rear leg bias. I'm gonna talk about why this exercise is important, why we use it, and what you can do if you get knee pain when you do this exercise. If you watch through to the end of this video, you'll understand why this is so important and how you can make sure you can build strength in this exercise so that your hips and knees are happy. So the split squat with rear leg bias basically means we're gonna be trying to load into this back leg. We're going down and really trying to lengthen the muscles of the thigh and the hip flexors here. So we're trying to lean more weight back into that back foot. That can feel like a huge stretch going down the quads into the hip flexors and it can feel like a huge challenge to the muscles around the knee. This exercise helps you build strength at length for these muscles, which remember, we're always trying to build strength at length. So we got a question from a student, Michael, of the FAI Fix program who said, hey, every time I try to do this, my knee just doesn't feel good, what can I do? So here's what you're gonna do if you find that you have knee pain from doing this split squat. First, you wanna make sure that you're only staying within a range of motion that feels like you control it and own it. If you feel like it's starting to crunch and pop in your knee, you've gone too far. If it feels like it's really sharp and painful, you've gone too far. You wanna go to a position that you can control that feels like it's challenging but not dangerous and you wanna hold that position, that'll help you build strength in that position. You're gonna feel the muscles around the knee get really tired. You're gonna feel the muscles go, hey, can we get out of here? And that's when you can go ahead and get out of here. Over time, you're building the strength of these quadriceps muscles, these thigh muscles in that lengthened position. Over time, you wanna be able to go deeper. That means those muscles are getting stronger and longer. The key is to do this gradually. Give yourself a chance to make sure you feel the right muscles so that it's not just a horrible sensation, but a tiring sensation. Just wanna pause for one second to say thank you to Liz Andrew for the $2 donation to support this channel. If you're not Liz and you're watching this video and you wanna support this channel too, hit that thanks button and leave me a tip. I really appreciate it. It'll help me make more videos for you. All right, let's get back to it. In addition, and this could be really important if you feel like doing that is just still horribly, horribly painful and you just got no room to go, then you wanna start doing some extra stretching of your hip flexors and your quads. So you can get up on your couch just like this, get your foot up on the back of the couch and start to straighten yourself up. So there are two joints we can think about when we're doing this stretch. One is the hip joint. So really trying to get open here into hip flexion. The other joint we can think about is the actual knee joint, right? So to get more stretch closer to the knee joint and the quadriceps muscles near the knee joint, we're going to bring the butt closer to the heel, and that is gonna really start stretching out the quads. Play around with this. You can bring your foot up and really try to get yourself close, really close to that heel, and that's gonna give you a real big stretch in the quadriceps. And let's not forget strength at every length. You can use contractions to improve the strength of the quadriceps in this lengthened position. So while I'm here, I can try to kick into the couch, fire the quadriceps, fire those muscles that are getting stretched, and then relax, see if I can go a little bit further. Again, contract, pushing in. And see if I can go a little bit further and just keep stretching that out. Play around with angles, keep lengthening those quadriceps and then you can go ahead and go back to working on your split squats with a rear leg bias. And hopefully they're gonna feel like you're getting more and more range week by week. So to recap, if you're getting knee pain while doing that split squat, then just try doing it more carefully, more slowly, and with more attention. And if you wanna speed that process along, most likely you're gonna find it helpful to do some stretching on the couch, stretching of your quads to make sure you're building more length and strength. How often should you do this? I would say just start off with twice a week and at a maximum work on this specific skill set three times a week. Don't be doing it every single day and hammering it hard. Just be patient. If you've been told you have hip impingement, make sure you check out the FAI Fix program, which I'll link to down below. And if you haven't been told you have FAI, but you have stiff hips, then be sure to check out the Healthy Hips program, which I'll link to down below too. 
If you found this video helpful, hit that thanks button down below or use the PayPal link, which I'll leave in the description box and leave me a tip. I really appreciate it. And I promise I will not spend your money on really tight fitting pants. Click like, subscribe, share. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't.